What is up, man? NFL 25 gamers. In this week's episode of Defensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to go back to a little history lesson. We're going to run our 4-3 defense from last season, and uh, it starts and ends with the 4-3 under. We're going to break down the 4-3 under for you this week. Next week, we're going to break down the 4-3 stack, probably. Uh, but 4-3 under this week, and the play we're going to focus on is our base play was the Will Punch 3 seam. Really like this play. Still this year, it's very effective. What we like to do with this play is we like to base a line, spread our defensive line, and quarterback contain our left to screen defensive end, or excuse me, defensive tackle. And this is going to give us left B gap pressure at the quarterback. Okay, so very simple setup base a line, spread line, and then we're going to um, contain that left to screen defensive tackle. It's going to give us that pressure. Now, there are situations in this game where it's kind of finagly where. Sometimes the offensive line will just pick stuff up for no reason. Um, a way to kind of assure that up for yourself is to take Alfonso here and just hold him right into this A-gap. In my opinion, it's it's an extra step, but it's well worth it because it, you, you're going to be user-controlling him anyway. So it provides that consistency with the pressure. You also, if you do this, if you use your Alfonso in the A gap here, you don't have to. You don't have to do any setup at all. So it, it it's just it, it's very effective in my opinion. All right. Now, one of the key features of this play is if they slide protect to the left, you're actually going to get uh, a shot at a gap pressure from the DT. Now, obviously, it didn't happen there, but sometimes I'm telling you guys it will happen in game. Check out my older breakdown of this play when I was talking about it in the Blitz of the day. All right, so that's the wheel punch we've seen, guys. That's going to be our base play. Uh, remember, it's very simple to set up. I like to use the middle linebacker in the A gap right now. It's one of the most popular things that I've been doing so far this year in the Madden community because it provides a lot more consistency for your pressure. And it really, in my opinion, it can kind of scare your opponent as well. So, real quick, to set up one more time base line. Spread your defensive line. Quarterback contain that DT over there on the left side. Grab the middle linebacker, sit him in the A gap, and then drop out into coverage once the ball snaps. All right, guys, that's our basic play. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to talk about our base man coverage from the 4-3 under formation.